Unless you actually have a life to live, you've most likely spent this winter's anime season enjoying the masterpiece of solo leveling, which is arguably the most popular webtoon slash manhwa that significantly influenced webtoons as a whole by creating the age of regression manhwa. Much like how Sword Art Online birthed the age of many isekai anime and manga, but what if I told you that there's currently an ongoing webtoon that makes solo leveling look mid? Let me introduce you guys to Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint. Omniscient Viewer's Viewpoint is of course a regression manhwa following Kim Dokja who spends most of his time reading a really long and poor performing web novel that at first gets a good amount of viewers but eventually just flops. Once it ends, Kim Dokja is the only viewer left reading and receives a file from the creator of the webtoon thanking him for his support which ends up starting an apocalypse that essentially is a retelling of the webtoon called Three Ways to Survive the Apocalypse. This of course gives him an extremely big advantage over the many other survivors in the world, but Kim Dokcha is technically not the main character of the story. The main character of the original webtoon is still present in the world and has pretty much every regression protagonist trope that makes him extremely OP, whereas Kim Doksha still ends up becoming one of the most powerful survivors considering that he's able to tell the future really well and essentially still has abilities like the fourth wall where even some of the most powerful deities in this webtoon can't even affect him. The fourth wall, as of where this webtoon is at the time that I'm writing this, Still isn't fully explained, but it appears that it's at the point where Kim Doksha may eventually become a constellation. Most of you may be wondering though, what exactly this means? And that's my fault for leaving out the biggest aspect of this webtoon, such as a leveling up system, mana based attacks, being able to respawn, and pretty much becoming an outsider to the way how the world even works. But what makes Omniscient Reader's viewpoint so interesting, other than the fact that the main character isn't actually the main character, is the fact that every event happening is being live stream for the entertainment of very popular historical or mythological figures called constellations. Constellations generally intercede in the stories being created by giving blessings, donations, intervening in certain events like we see in chapter 60 for example where a constellation can speak through someone, possess them, or even allow the user of the constellation to use particular abilities that the constellation can use as well, or even just give their thoughts on particular moments in the scenarios that are being played out and how each character goes about them. Which actually leads into one of the things that Omniscient Reader's Viewpoint does better than Solo Loveland. This not only has the better writing out of the two, but this story actually gives the other characters, other than the main character, good writing as well. In most regression manhwa, including solo leveling, the side characters are usually only present to show off how strong the protagonist is instead of actually giving them really good writing. I'm not throwing shade at solo leveling when I say this considering that I'm more than excited for the continuation of the anime adaptation later this year as much as everyone else, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with the many other regression action or rpg based webtoons that follow this trope but it's very clear once you finally do decide to read omniscient readers viewpoint that this one is built different it absolutely needs a well budgeted anime adaptation because i truly believe that this is one of the next big hits that we will soon see everyone talk about if you guys would like to see more content from me of course leave a big thumbs up to support the algorithm and feel free to leave some of your thoughts down below in the comment section i appreciate all the love and support and hopefully i see all of you guys in the next one